We have the world's largest pride cut down in London. Right. The town of London was built originally on the orders of William the Conqueror in 1078. He had invaded England a few years earlier, 1066. We're slowly getting on that. <laughs> and on Christmas Day he was crowned King of England. And then he had mighty forces built upon this site that dominated and overall the low standing city of London outside. In the city out there lived angry Saxons who were still smarting at the earlier defeat. But in this town lived the Norman King, Norman Queen Lords and Ladies, all speaking a different language. Speaking French. <laughs> and of course here in England that lays the very foundations of legend. Tales like Robin Hood spring to mind. You know Robin Hood, don't you? Yes, Kevin Costner. <laughs> But over the years, successive monarchs added to the defences, these walls were built here, until by the time of Edward I, these outer walls were built and it became the most impregnable fortress in all the known lands. But over the years, it was used in many, many ways. It was a home to kings and queens for well over 500 years. It was an armory where weapons were manufactured and stored and an observatory studied planets and stars. But it was also become the site of the most feared and infamous prison in all the land. But not an ordinary prison, there's no, because we had the big boys here. Kings of Scotland, kings of France, queens of England, princes of Wales, lords, ladies, dukes and elves. Now, I know over the years we got a little bit of bad press. And even today people think all we did here was hang around and open the gates in the morning, bring a few lords and ladies inside, chop off their heads, then lock up again at night. Well, let me assure you, we did not. We used to do it outside on the hill. <laughs> because the axe was only used six times throughout history here within the tower. But I'll show you the point where they were executed later on in the tour. I know, we could do the same.